Welcome volunteers to the Special Olympics Washington community and thank you for taking the time to watch this training video. This presentation is for all volunteers who are going to be involved in any type of Special Olympics event and is meant to be a resource to educate people about Special Olympics Washington and our volunteer program, giving you the tools you'll need to interact with athletes, coaches, and our general community. Before we get into volunteer specific information, it's important to give a quick overview of Special Olympics and Special Olympics Washington. Founded in 1968 by Eunice Kennedy Shriver and the Joseph P. Kennedy Foundation, Special Olympics formed to improve the lives of the intellectually disabled. Special Olympics is about more than sports. It is about providing opportunities, promoting inclusion, and creating community. We strive to connect people with intellectual disabilities and their families to opportunities, resources, and one another. Special Olympics provides year-round sports training and athletic competition in a variety of Olympic-type sports for children and adults with intellectual disabilities, giving them continued opportunities to develop physical fitness, demonstrate courage, experience joy, and participate in the sharing of gifts, skills, and friendship with other families, other Special Olympics athletes, and the community. Special Olympics Washington was incorporated in 1975 as a nonprofit organization following several years of program presentation by local community volunteer groups. A board of directors provides guidance to SOA staff and volunteers govern the organization. Our mission statement is building communities and leading wellness through sports and inclusion. Special Olympics Washington and Special Olympics is unique because we provide divisioning for equitable competition, awards are given to all participants, sports and programming are available to athletes of all ability levels, there's a random draw for advancement to national and international levels of competition, and sports and programs are offered at no cost to the athletes. Washington State is split into 11 areas, each ran by a volunteer area leadership team that are advised by state staff members. Areas are categorized in four regions. Competitions are held at the area, regional, and state levels. Special Olympics Washington provides year-round sports training and competition, which is divided into four seasons. Each season accumulates in a statewide championship event. Most sports have local, regional, and state events. This slide displays each sport split into its designated season. In addition to sports, Special Olympics Washington works on many other programs that are meant to diversify the opportunities available for Special Olympics athletes, their family, and the community. Special Olympics Washington promotes athlete leadership in a variety of ways which give athletes the skills to be a leader both on and off the sports field. Athletes can become an athlete ambassador, a coach, a captain, a volunteer, they can give direct input on athlete input councils and much more. Athletes are not the only people involved in our community. We work hard at connecting family both to one another and to resources outside of our organization. Internationally, Special Olympics is the largest healthcare provider for people with intellectual disabilities. The Healthy Athletes program is dedicated to providing health services and education to Special Olympics athletes and changing the way the health system interacts with people with intellectual disabilities. At Special Olympics, we believe in the power of inclusion. People with intellectual disabilities are not the only ones who can be athletes. Become a unified partner by joining a team and experience the power of inclusion. Young Athletes is an eight-week sports and play program for children ages 2 through 7 with and without intellectual disabilities. Developed by physical therapists, this program shows an average of 7 months of gross motor skills development over the 8 weeks. While volunteering, you may be directly interacting with athletes in a variety of ways. Here are some main concepts to help ensure that your interactions are supportive, appropriate, and effective. Special Olympics athletes are people ages 8 and up who have an intellectual disability. Intellectual disability is a term used to describe a person with certain limitation in cognitive functioning and other skills, including communication and self-care. These limitations can cause a child to develop and learn more slowly or differently. Intellectual disability is the most common developmental disability. There are three main types of intellectual disability, Down syndrome, autism, and fragile X. As an organization, Special Olympics Washington works to promote inclusion, but there are a variety of 
ways this can be limited. Here are the four main challenges to inclusion that you should be aware of. Hero worship is when people consider someone with a disability who lives independently or pursues a profession to be brave or special for overcoming a disability. Most people with disabilities do not want congratulations for performing daily tasks. The disability is there. Individual has simply learned to adapt by using their skills and knowledge, just as everyone adapts to being tall, short, strong, fast, easygoing, etc. Pity is when people feel sorry for the person with a disability, which tends to lead to patronizing attitudes. The spread effect is when people assume that an individual's disability negatively affects other senses, abilities, or personality traits, or that the person is totally impaired. The other side of the spread effect is the positive and negative generalizations people form about disabilities. There are many ways to ensure that your interactions with people with intellectual disabilities are inclusive, including people first language, extending the dignity of risk, and making sure that your interactions are age appropriate. People first language represents more respectful, accurate ways of communicating. People with disabilities are not their diagnosis or disabilities. Well, they are people first. While interacting with athletes at SOA events, instead of saying he's autistic, say he has autism. One of the most important aspects of interacting with people with intellectual disabilities is making sure you're extending the dignity of risk. The dignity of risk is the idea that coddling people with intellectual disabilities limit them. Many Special Olympics athletes are able to live independently and are quite self-sufficient. When interacting with athletes, follow these main guidelines. Offer to help. Don't assume. Ask for clarification if you don't understand someone's speech. Share your feelings if someone does or says something inappropriate. And remember, independence is precious. One of the largest misconceptions about Special Olympics is with the age of the athletes. The majority of Special Olympics Washington athletes are adults over the age of 20. Often, adults with intellectual disabilities are spoken down to as children. When interacting with athletes, remember to interact with them according to their age. A good way to figure out how to interact is to determine your relationship with the athlete. Always be respectful. There are four main things to remember. Tone, eye contact, physical interaction, and introductions. Remember, physical interactions can go both ways. If an athlete does something that you are uncomfortable with, explain it to them. A good physical interaction is a high five or an introduction handshake. Now that you know a bit more about Special Olympics, Special Olympics Washington, and interacting with people with intellectual disability, let's get into specifics about volunteering. Special Olympics Washington relies on volunteers at all levels of our organization and provides numerous volunteer opportunities beyond event volunteering. Ongoing opportunities are numerous and require training and orientation sessions to participate. Volunteers are coaches, program directors, results managers, athlete mentors, community outreach facilitators, interns, and more. There are two main types of volunteers. Class B are general event volunteers. These are volunteers who work on event-by-event -event basis. Class A volunteers are people who actively and consistently interact with athletes and hold positions of power in the organization. Coaches, program directors, area leadership team members, state of officials, etc. All Class A volunteers require a background check. By signing up to volunteer, you are agreeing that you will provide for the general welfare, health, and safety of all Special Olympics athletes and volunteers, dress and act in an appropriate manner, follow the established rules and guidelines, report any emergencies to the appropriate authorities, abstain from the consumption of use of alcohol, tobacco products, and illegal substances, and that you will not engage in any inappropriate contact or relationships with athletes. All volunteer registration is now online. You can create your volunteer account by going to this link and indicate which opportunities you're most interested in. Or you can also register through event-based volunteer applications. You're able to log into your account, manage your new commitments, and receive updates and sign up for new opportunities through this program. While working at events, volunteers may encounter situations they will need to respond to. Here are some things to know for events. Here are the general risk management guidelines. 
Always program a staff member or a venue manager's contact info into phone in case needed for questions or emergencies. Call 911 or get athletic trainer in case of medical emergencies. Always follow the volunteer code of conduct. Follow any venue or sport specific rules and regulations. In case of emergency, remain calm and keep others calm. Determine if injuries have occurred and notify on-site medical personnel. Be aware of a site evacuation plan located at the volunteer check-in or sports information desk. Always make sure you complete required training and keep certifications up to date. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about our volunteer program. We're really excited to have you join our team. Please make sure to take our general orientation quiz after the video.